everybody and welcome once again to all of Fabric 3. So today we are going to have a look at starting doing some machines, probably from Tech Reborn. Um, as you can see behind me, I've actually been doing a little bit of sorting out. But the first thing we're going to do is have a look at actually what we've got from AFK Fishing. And it's rather disappointing as it happens. We're also going to have a quick look at the battle, a battle tower. So let's get started. Here's the fishing chest. As you can see, reasonable amount of fish, some leather, um, some string, some rotting flesh, some bones. And that, this one actually isn't. This was something else from a winged bomb. Um, but I put it in this chest because I thought it was a good place to keep it in. And various types of fish it's from Go Fish. These are, as you can see, this one's got nothing. This is protein and fats. So they must have uses, for example, like a starry salmon. So look at the uses of that one. You can make a aquatic astral stew <laughs> interesting thing so and we're not going to do that first we're going to quickly go and have a look at this battle tower over here as you can see the top of it and you can also see the village is growing and growing and growing as you and actually really fast too get out of the way thank you so it's not very far away in fact how far away is it so it's within range of the um, big torch, which is a good thing. Um, if I can find you, that is. Oh, there we are. So what it means, the big torch, will prevent mobs from spawning. Uh, except for some mobs will still carry on spawning. For one of the mobs that will spawn are silverfish. Um, and here we are. I've actually done a little bit of raiding in here, not very much, but for example, we get this chest here with stuff in it so we can take this. And I've got a whoopee cushion. <laughs> and the whoopee cushion is actually hilarious. So we'll put that on. You can shift on it. Put it in your head like that and you press shift a few times. And there you go. <laughs> so we could take this out of here like this and probably take the chest as well for that matter. I notice we've got a stone axe. We'll take a stone axe. I've done a little bit of enchanting. I didn't make the the table I'd actually I got it from here you'll see why in a second but there's got about five different floors up here oops so there's plenty of bookshelves here's obviously some lava dripping down um, and some more chests and in this chest we've got some enchanted enchanted books and some paper we'll take those let's just take the chest in fact and also do this one as well in fact, there was that. What's he got here? We've got another enchanted Bane of Anthropods, Power 3 and Impaling 4. So not too bad. I'm not going to complain about those. And of course, we can take these um, bookshelves as well. In fact, I'm going to do that. I don't get the bookshelves, but I do get the books, which is handy. Might as well take the, the cobwebs as well, for that matter, because the cobweb, we've got two ways we can do cobwebs. I suspect it's probably the easiest way to use some shears on them. And my inventory is on the full site already. Never mind. Let's take those as cobwebs. I'm going to take the bookshelves. I don't think there's much else in here that we can that's useful. We'll go upstairs and have a look at the next level up. There was a. Sp I think there were two spawners in there, like this one here. This is a zombie spawner. It, it doesn't make any difference if it's dark or not. They're not spawning from here. Um, whether it's useful to have a zombie spawner or not, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just looking for some torches. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to get rid of it for the time being. Here's some iron. We'll take that. Um, maybe not this time. There's a load of furnaces and some blast furnaces. More chests with more stuff in it. In this case, it's actually useful stuff. I'll take the helmet. In fact, we'll just swap the two helmets off. This one's got no protection. Let's put that in the offhand and then take this. Oops, take this one. I can't do that. Let's drop something down. Let's put this on our head. <laughs> As you can see, got the whoopee cushion on my head. <laughs> um, this is an empty barrel, but I probably can't take anything else out of here. Maybe the bread or oh, in the apples. Okay, yeah. I'll come back and get the rest of the stuff over here. And there's another one over here. And again, that's got an iron sword. Well, I've got an iron sword and it's got another helmet in here. Let's sort those out. And this one is another barrel that's empty. We'll probably come back and take that. And there's a cauldron. That's handy. So we'll go and that'll save seven iron bars. 
and here's another one of these enchanting rooms so the last one had again two cave spider spawners i don't want cave spider spawners anyway so i'll get rid of those i can't see any uses for them at all so we'll get rid of those and i'll put down some torches instead what did i get there i got a battle key yes and more books more paper and another enchanted book what i'm going to do is i'm going to put these into here and you see i've got this boss key from battle towers which is obviously what this place is um i would actually like no i'll come back for these later on put everything back in here and there like that in fact the boss key we can also put in here so i've just seen another one so every time you break one of these spawners you get a boss key put that in there and they do stack <coughs> it's also got here a lectern i might as well take this as it happens we'll put it down somewhere and access the effective tool and it's also got here an enchanting table. We don't need a second enchanting table just yet. I was wondering what that noise was. Oh, yes. <clears throat> so here we've got some old books. Nook back, feather falling three, and efficiency, aerial, in aerial affinity. And so that basically means you can do stuff in the air. Two more books and some more paper. I'll come back and read those. Now, the next story, I'm not going to be too near here. Um, I'm not going to stay very long in here because they are spawning and I think where's the house because the house is the tells me how far away we are from um, this where is it now it tells me how far away I'm from the um, big torch there it is 117 blocks so we're on the on the border so as you can see here <laughs> there's um, a cave spawn yes the sp guardian spawner so that's spawning guardians out here so what i can do is probably make i'll probably keep this one because if he's going to spawn guardians out we can basically probably use that as a um as some way of getting some materials so i don't need this one have i been through this floor yes i have right okay i'll see you when i get back to base right I'm back to base, it's actually night time. What I'm going to do is show you what one of the things that's a feature. <laughs> I'll sleep on this path here. And you can see you get an x-ray vision of um, below. So I also got an achievement doing that. Uh, and I discovered the village. So I'm actually half underground, let's have a look. <laughs> when you sleep on a path in this, then you're half underground. Just jump up and you're out again. So that's no big deal. Um, so let's put some of this stuff away in here. I'll put away... I've got miscellaneous chests for various bits and pieces, so I'll put those into that. I also got an umbrella. Um, and if I look at the recipe for the umbrella, you'll see it's come from a mimic chest. And these mimic chests drops all these sort of things down here. Some of them are really handy, like um, the one I've just got. Um, what you can do with this, it's really neat. It's basically, you can use it as a shield. So if we put it into our offhand and press shift, it becomes a shield. Otherwise, it's an umbrella. It actually like, acts like um, a glider. So let's go up here and jump off. This is how I actually get my food levels up a bit more as, as it happens. I come up here and like this and then just jump off here. <clears throat> Instead of taking full damage, I just drop down like that. Very handy. Let's, did I not put my helmet on? I didn't. But let's put my helmet back on get rid of this one we don't need the farmer's hat anymore um i probably don't need this with me at the moment so let's just get rid of this one and put that into miscellaneous items as well brothers we need a lectern let's go and put this down somewhere some chests we'll keep in here and i've got some logs as well uh must have got those from i'm not sure where i got those from to be honest with you spruce logs and jungle logs must have got them from somewhere let's put the books into miscellaneous and i've also got a stone shield from gates of babylon and the recipe for that is basically seven six pieces of stone and one ironing that makes this and it's got a slightly higher durability than the standard one so let's put into here the shield i don't need that either and the rest of it's food so let's have a quick look at the quest book after i put this lectern down as you can see and more and more beds and so i just put it oh i've got one down here already let's put another one down here like that and then maybe get another job for another villager so the first thing we're going to do is have a look at um have i got any wood with me yes i have good 
is Tech Reborn. And the first thing we need to do for Tech Reborn, let's have a look at the quest book here. Let's go back up. So, uh, quests, let's look at quests. Um, I didn't look, go back properly. I need to go back here and, and create a, t a tree tap. So a tree, a tree tap will give me eight sap. So the recipe for this is actually really simple. So we just need some planks and sticks. In fact, I can craft that here. Let's do that. And it's literally a tip. I think it's literally a tree with a stick on top of it like this. And then we get a tree tap. So there's a, actually there's a logs. And here we see a, these are jungle saplings. I found this and they're easy to see because of this. And then all you have to do is to right click this and you'll get one piece of sap. So we've actually now got nine pieces of sap. So you come along here and you click these and they will grow again, one, right clicking them uh, after a period of time. I'm not sure how long it is. In fact, you can see there's another one there. So let's just take the crook yeah, like this. And I also did this one as a, a ruby crook because I found some rubies and there's not actually much use for rubies. So let's just take this one as well. Oh, and some more that's grown up here, so get rid of those. I'm just having a look to see if there's any hidden underneath here. If there are, we just take it, break the leaf and take it. Yes, this one here, look. And if you're lucky when you're doing that, you'll get another sapling. And I haven't done this time, but no, it doesn't matter. Um, so all I did is actually go around and take off the leaves of one of these trees. So now let's have a look at what these let's take this doesn't have much durability only 20 so the uses of sap let's have a look at the uses of sap you cook it and that will produce some rubber um so let's do that i've got a furnace over here and that's the first thing to do with um tech reborn anyway so we have to do that so let's cook this and in fact i did not sure to notice put those eight in there and then put in one lignite ore cool so, so now let's have a look at the book so we've completed that so we can claim our reward and we'll get some more sap and then let's go back again and then the next one here is to make some rubber so we have to make one piece of rubber and we shall get three limeades which is fruit and sweets actually not that handy as it happens because fruits are is actually a bad thing to have uh, sweets are it gives you malnourishment let's have a look at our let's have a look here at our food at the moment again it's carbohydrates which is low and fruit Sugar, sweets are very low at the moment which is as it says too many sweets are bad for you but all the rest of them you can think you can get high and max them out and i haven't seen any restrictions of being too high for those so what i do is i go up there jump off and eat something um, and that's it. So bread's a good food. So bread's a good food source. This sandwich isn't really very good. <clears throat> you get that. There's no recipe for this. There is a sandwich maker which gives you those. So this one, vegetable protein, but carbohydrates is this one. So we can eat some carbohydrates when we get hungry again. Right, sorry. So now we should have some rubber. Not so sticky. So um, let's have a look at the quest books. So now we can claim this one. And then we need to go back and have a look at the next quest. So, we, so the next one to make is connect it up. So for this, we need to make one insulated copper cable and that will give us eight copper cables. So how do we do that? Let's have a look. Copper cables, this is all tech reborn. So let's have a look at copper. And we have to make one of these, which we make with three ingots of copper and six pieces of rubber. That's no problem. Or you can do it simply like this. And a copper cable you can make with six with three um, pieces of copper ingots in a row. Or you can do a wire mill from Tecraborn, which will give you the same, basically the same thing, I think. Was that right? No, that's, that's actually that's actually th three times better this way. You'd get to 18 from that. So that's what a target to go for, because it'll save copper. But anything that saves materials, going around mining, whatever, is a good thing. So only got we've got plenty of those. And we've got enough so let's just craft that up now so we can complete this crest quest so we need six of those like that and three coppers and it doesn't matter i'll do it horizontally or vertically we will get six insulated copper so let's 
so now we've got flowing power so we can then claim this reward <clears throat> go back and have a look at the next one so we need to make a generator so let's have a look at the recipe for generator So the first one is the basic, that's a diesel generator. We just want the generator, this one here. So for that, we need one furnace, no big deal. One basic machine frame and one red cell battery. And a red cell battery is one of these cables plus two redstone plus four lead, which is not too bad. And the next one here is this basic machine frame, which is just refined iron and make, all you have to do for a refined iron is stick it in the blast furnace or whatever and then we'll do that so let's get that done as well so we need first of all we've got nine of those which is great so we can make some more rubber i'll get rid of this limeade i don't need that with me in fact i'll get rid of this sandwich as well i don't need that they don't stack by the way so what did i need some iron i needed eight pieces of iron let's do 16 because um we're going to need more than one, that's for certain. In fact, probably even a stack would be a good start. So let's go and cook those up in the blast furnace over here. And I think I've got in the blast furnace over here, because it's faster in the blast furnace. Um, already got some lignite coal in there ready to go. So that'll make that one up. And then I needed to cook up some lead, didn't I? So lead, I can't do all doubling, but we need four lead, wasn't it, we need? At the moment, we can't do four. If we look at the uses of, uses of lead ore, you can smelt it for one. I'm saying for blast it. Um, you can mine it up, which doesn't mean anything. And then you can pulverize it. So you can pulverize it in the Industrial Revolution pulverizer. Fluid infusion, that comes up when we start to get up to ore quadrupling. This is also Industrial Revolution. Smelting, yeah, that will produce lead ore this must be another one there must be there must be a grinder yeah from tech reborn which gives us two so uh, obviously a good goal to go for is a grinder so that will probably be the second machine so let's get these cooked i've got some lignite coal here let's shift those in there like that oops and then we just have to wait for these so maybe those are already finished by now it's coming up to night time as you can see the village is all going to sleep so I've got 14 of those. Just wait a few more seconds, we'll get the other two. Like that. So then we can craft up the machine frame. And f yeah, I'll only do one to start with. Um, machine casing. So we need to make a battery. Heart of a machine, we've got as an achievement. Um, batteries are fairly straightforward. We need that and some redstone so redstone is probably in I think, no it's in here so we need two redstone one piece of copper insulated wire which we've got already plus four lead ore which we've got here already in fact i probably should have cooked eight up never mind and so because we're going to bound, bound to need some of those again so let's go back to the generator so we need this one which is we can do it straight away we need the machine frame which we've already done and we need a furnace now that should be a miscellaneous no. no it's not let's just make another furnace i'm sure i've got some around doesn't matter very much let's make four furnaces so now we can craft the generator like this <laughs> what happened there so what we're missing was the battery here. So then we get the generator. And another achievement for that. Nope, we didn't get an achievement. We did get 16 coal. So we can claim the reward. And then we can go back up here and have a look at the next item, which is either <clears throat> spin me round, which will be a industrial centrifuge. Not ready to do that just yet. Um, solar panel. That might be a good one to do. Let's have a look at this one. Give us... 12 lead um, solar panel recipe. Let's have a look at that one. This is actually a good one to do because <clears throat> it means you don't have to use any power. You don't have to keep running around fueling it up. It doesn't produce much power, but it's not too difficult. So we've got some coal dust. So we need to pulverize them. 
cool. The only way to do that is that. And then we need these electronic circuits, which is six pieces of insulated copper, plus redstone, plus refined iron. We just need two of those. So we've got almost everything we need for that. And the first one in his generator. So we've got the generator. Um, so let's make the next thing we need to make, which is the which is the pulver um, the grinder. So we'll cut that one. So there's two grinders, the industrial grinder and the grinder. Now this is all we're going to start with. So we need one circuit which we can do. I'm probably not able to do that yet. Let's have a look. Have oh, I got enough pieces? No redstone. In fact, I've got some stuff in here I don't need. <clears throat> I've noticed. Don't need that. Let's go to miscellaneous signs. Dark oak logs will keep that because you always need some wood. And some more rubble. We'll make those up as well because I'm going to need that up. So let's do the recipe for this one. And shift click that one in. So we get six of those. And then we can actually, of course, make some more of these. We've got some of these like that. So we can use these four up and make another thing. There is other uses for this one. Let's just double check it before I do this. We would have an alarm, <coughs> a lamp or a cable. And that's basically it. And the uses of rubber, just in case we need to, we can make other levels of cable, which we don't need to do just yet. So we're not ready for an advanced tank unit, I don't think. So we can then make these up into our stuff. So let's do that as well. Oh, so we've got 15 of those. We've got four cables left over. That's good. And so we'll put those in this chest here with the applied energistic stuff. So the generator we don't need. What am I going to do next? Pulverizer. Grinder. So flint, flint we've got, cobblestone we've got, so we just need another basic machine frame. So I should have that stuff here, yes I do. Let's do that one. And then we need the, the circuit. So what's we missing? One of those. So we'll make some more refined iron. And I'll make another eight refined iron. You go through iron really fast. And I'll do that in here because it's near. And it doesn't the fact it's a bit slower doesn't make much difference. We'll do just do one. <laughs> All the crickets are cro croaking away while I'm doing this, isn't it? So right, we've got one refined iron, so let's do that. Oh. <clears throat> We've done that already and it's got a new recipe for that one. Great. So let's do that one. So we should be able to make the circuit up now. I'm not in a 2x2 two two grid, I have to do that in here. Try that again. So we've got circuit, two cobblestone and three flint. Miscellaneous might be flint, I might have put flint in here, I have. Good. Right, right click that, take heart. Again, same problem, let's just, I've got it in here, just clicking the wrong button, that's all. <clears throat> so now we've got our grinder. So with our generator and grinder, we can start to do some work. Let's do that. Let's just put them down. It doesn't really matter where we put them down. Here we'll do as a starting place. So we put that one beside that one. We could put a cable between the two, but because they're going to be sitting beside each other, we don't need to. And we also got some coal. Well, I'm going to keep the coal and use the lignite fuel because that's a lignite is actually in here. Because that's just as effective. And you'll see it's starting producing power, but you don't see that coming through here yet. That'll be coming into here, so the grindstone. So we needed to grind up some coal for the solar panel. Let's have a look at that one. So we need three pieces of coal to be ground up. Now this is, of course, I make some little noise, but not too much. So what else do we need? Some glass panes. Now I have got some glass. I've got eight pieces of glass. We need six. I went to the um, the world's born because that's near the beach, and there's some sand there. In fact, you can actually make sand up. So, for example, the recipe for glass is basically cooked sand, smelting and stone or sand. The recipe for sand. You can then grind it up, I think, pulverizing, 
we'll co a pulverizing we'll do cobblestone grinding we'll do gravel to sand and gravel of course you can do from cobblestone so those are done let's take those out of there now so we need to make up some glass panes like that and I think oh, we need two circuits and one generator well, we've got the generator here and two circuits so we need four redstone oops try again you'll notice I'm not picking up everything I'm just taking it around uh, copper ingots and cables wasn't it have we got enough I don't think we've got enough cables let's have a look and we need some more refined and we've got that so that's no problem we need some more cables um, we've got nine we need another three more tell you what I'll come back in a second with the cables actually while I'm waiting for the things to cook I've been over there let's go back here and have a look at some more rewards because we haven't claimed all the rewards yet I don't think of which ones are not claimed birth were completed it's electric nope not done that one that's an electric furnace um, quite handy as well of course because then you're only using the amount of fuel that we need now let's, have a look. let's go back again because I'm missing it where's the thing gone to right click try again so we have got one oh here in Gibby we've got one which is unclaimed let's just open that one and which one is it the one that's brown <clears throat> so I can take okay we'll take those chiseled bricks we'll put those into, and glasses we'll put those into here in fact the brick blocks I suppose but those are I guess those are blocks so we'll put those into that one there like that and this will probably be classed as fishing because uh, where did it go to bottles is one of the things you get out of fishing oh actually it was water bottles we get so now these are done so we can now make up the next of those in fact I was going to go back through the quests again let's have a look back up here back here and we've also got one from storage we haven't claimed let's have a look at that one open so we've actually made a chest well wow. so we get some more chests and some torches <laughs> Not unduly exciting, but let's make on the grind um, the solar panel now. We've got enough stuff for that. Let's do this. So we need the recipe for this. We'll do this one this time. And then we've got enough of those so we can then make the solar panel so we can make these to start with. We get two of those, which is what we need. And we've got the gr and this one so we can take the generator out of here. In fact, it's full of fuel. Well, it was a mistake, never mind pickaxe for that one I guess so I've done some low level enchanting on these things from those four books to books over there and now we've got everything we need I think for this one of course we have to do it this way try again and here we have our first solar panel so we can put this down here so a power from above that's great let's put it down let's put it down at the back I'm always going to break these things here with a crook because you never know. Uh, and make sure there's nothing above it, which is there isn't. So good, that's nothing there. That's going to block the light. And this will start to generate fuel. Panel indirect sunlight, which is good. And you can see that the energy is now going up. So now we have a first source of free power. Uh, and we can, we've also got a grinder. So now we can take some ores. Let's have a look. So ores that we can grind, things like lead. Galenium we can't do anything yet. So the use of this one is oh, we can grind it. Oh, so we can get two galenium dust. Okay, and the uses of those um, is a blast furnace will smelt it. But we need a blast furnace for this one from Techreborn or a, an industrial electrolyzer. So as you can see this one then will take two of those and produce these items. Sulfur, lead dust and silver dust. And the blast furnace will produce one ingot of each so it's basically a lead and silver mechanism so blast furnace recipe probably not ready to do that just yet because these are advanced circuits so we need glowstone for that which we haven't yet got because we've not been to the nether um but we can make the next machine and hey let's have a look in there there's bound to be some unclaimed rewards that we've got now because the next thing i should really be concentrating on is making a backpack uh, afraid backpack so we can have something to carry as we're traveling along it does give you one row extra of storage which is handy 
Um, let's get back to the book again. I haven't finished this yet. So now we've got Tech Reborn with one unclaimed quest, which of course is the solar panel. And that's going to give 12 lead, so that's great. Next thing on this list here is probably to do... See, grindstone was this one here, so let's do the electric furnace. So the electric furnace is what? It's probably a furnace. I'm probably going to move bases as well, because <laughs> the villages are fine, but they do tend to get in the way a bit. Before I start to do too much stuff. So we need an iron furnace, so we need a, we can do that easily enough. Can we do that now? Have I got enough iron on me? I need five pieces of iron. And a furnace, and we've got furnaces still, so let's do that one. This will be the last machine I'm going to make for today, so, or we could use eight pieces of iron. Well, this is cheaper, isn't it? So I'll do that one. And then we need an electric furnace. So we need another one of these, which I probably haven't got enough for yet. Um, we, some redstone. So I'll just go and get some more rubber. Um, the rubber tree, by the way, is over here. I should put that away, shouldn't I? Because I'm going to run out of space very quickly. I did what I've done with the rubber tree, which is probably worth showing. That's why I'm here. They're actually not growing too fast, but I've... But he basically crooked my way up here like that. Uh, and then that allows you to see the more... Uh, yes, there's one up there. I probably can just reach it. If not, I have to put a block down here like this. Yeah, I can reach that. And another one. And I think that might have decayed, so that's not so good. Um, when I was doing that, I got another two rubber trees. Now, these will grow up over time, of course. I could bone mill them or use some phosph potash on them or whatever but we've got two more of these now how much rubber i've got three uh plus two that's enough actually that should allow me to do the next thing so we'll, we'll waste some ore um what it should allow me to do is it should allow me to make i've got three cables so I just need to make two more so let's just shove those into here like this is there anything else we can put into that that would allow us to give a bit more stuff. I, I've got two copper ingots here, that those will do. In fact, it's probably worth keeping these. Um, in fact, that's it, I'm going to just have to waste these. I probably could have done it with using some sticks or whatever. Okay, so we've got three pieces of copper, we've got three of those now, and all we need to do is to craft up some more copper cable. Uh, let's use the right crafting grid, of course. Six of those plus three of these will give me th six of those, and then we can use that then to make the uh, circuit. I will need some more redstone. Let's take that out of here. And of course, I not only did I need some more redstone. I also need to use the right crafting grid, so let's do that again. So we've got our circuit. So the only thing left now is two more redstone. Huh? So we should be able to do the electric furnace. And we should be able to put that down here. It will actually have some power in it because of the stuff, uh, but what's more important, you can put upgrades into this machine, and the power actually hasn't, oh, wrong place, that's why, let's move it, and let's move it to the back here, don't I, like that, and then it should get some power in here, from the solar panel, which was already got some power in it, oh wow, that's hard work, let's just quickly go to the quest book, and claim the reward, what did I get, some tin ore, it's electric, and I've also got this one because it's a, a grinder which gives me six gold or so let's claim the reward for that and let's go back again so the next thing down here would be extractor save to make an extractor now the extractor let's have a look at the use of that one probably can't make it today uh, in fact I don't intend to because I've just about finished time uh, let's have a look at the extractor Uh, 
Okay, and then this is basically to will then extract much more rubber from a thing. So we'll look at what we can do with the extractor. It should have an extractor thing here. All right, so it can it can turn flowers into dyes, which is interesting. And it also extracts black dyes from red sacks. And we can gravel from flint from gravel. And these are the interesting one. An empty cell makes an empty cell. That's probably interesting. So we can take a rubber lob, log and we can turn that into one rubber. Or we can take one of these, which will give us then three rubber, which is a lot, f which is better. Um, also slime balls we can convert and a dead bush we can turn into a stick. <laughs> wow. So, well, that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, some reasonably good pro progression. I'm going to move the village from my area away from here because the villagers are sort of getting in the way a bit. <laughs> we will do some trading with them. They're all safe because they've got the big torch. Um, I'm also going to do some more resource collection between episodes. I will probably um, do some... Yeah, when I'm doing the resource collecting, I'll probably find some more stuff in the mines. And I'll also clear out that battle tower and maybe produce um, a some way of getting those, grinding those um, guardians. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.